I am Jean, the Dandelion Knight, requesting approval to join your party. From this day onwards, my honor and loyalty lie with you. It's time to move on. We shouldn't stay here. I do hope the Knights of Favonius are all working hard. Onwards, we have work to do. The rain won't slow me down. This weather is perfect. We should move out. Huh. Snow. Remember, tend to your boots when we return. Such fine weather. Legend has it, the wind was unusually strong on that day, too. A successful day starts from the morning. Let's give it our all today. We've still got work to do. Let's keep going. <sighs> it seems I'm immune to coffee now. Perhaps I need to ask Lisa for something a little stronger. Training is finished for today. Great work. You've earned a good rest. Today I had no choice but to cut down five ruin guards to protect the people of our city. <sighs> I must continue to work harder. Though hostile, destroying such precious artifacts is still a loss to us all. I must find a less destructive way to bring them down next time. You have my complete and full support. Of course, if your path ever deviates from justice, I will not hesitate to point it out. I swear by this sword, victory shall be yours. Our work will not handle itself, but I suppose the occasional short break is warranted. Let us rest for a couple of minutes. For Mondstadt, as always, is the Gunhilder family motto. Every time I use my vision, I am reminded of my mother and the hopes of the people of Mondstadt. For Mondstadt, for freedom, that is what I fight for. On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend my gratitude to you for all you have done for Mondstadt. Please remember to rest from time to time. Did I miss something? What are you laughing at? Did I say something odd? Dandelion, dandelion, ride the wind to a faraway land. Who knows? The wind might take it all the way to Celestia. Barbara is a hard worker, but I feel she's too hard on herself sometimes. What? You ask me how I know all of this? It's because the Order also manages the church. When Lisa is around, I always have peace of mind. I must say that Amber's development has impressed me recently. I hope that one day her deeds will become the words of a bard's tale. Is that right? Kaya also gave you some suggestions. He is an excellent knight after all. This is a fact no one can deny. Though it may be said that it is in a child's nature to play, the things Klee plays with are far from toys. I can never take my eye off her. Sometimes I feel that terms like genius were originally created for Albedo. Grand Master Varka is the legend of his generation. On the day of his triumphant return, I shall be sure to personally introduce you to him. I'm sure you too will be in awe of his greatness. Hmm... Noelle. She puts enormous effort into trying to become a Knight of Favonius. However, I fear she is not quite ready for the dangers that lie beyond Mondstadt's walls. Some may see Sister Rosaria as one who complains about how bothersome her work is, but she does her job well. Last time I saw her, I told her she could come find me should she ever need help, to which she simply replied that doing so would be even more bothersome. I need to work harder to become of more assistance to the people of Mondstadt. Master Diluc has his reasons for being so critical of the Knights of Favonius. I am not proud of the way things went, but I cannot change the past. All I can do is keep working hard, in the hope he may one day see us in a better light. This is my duty. Master Diluc is my senior, and I have the utmost respect for him. Though we have gone separate ways... I can sense we share the same strong commitment to protecting Mondstadt at all costs. Sucrose is also a rare talent in the field of alchemy. Under Albedo's mentorship, she is sure to flourish. I'm sure her future will be bright. The only thing is... Uh, oh, uh, I was momentarily lost in thought. It is nothing. Nothing bad, anyway. Eula? Um, please do not hold her unfortunate background against her. 
The Knights of Favonius evaluate each person impartially. Eula has a clear sense of right and wrong and is more talented than most. The controversial statements that she makes from time to time are just a product of her personality. Uh, for instance, she always mentions wanting to challenge me, but I don't mind. The Grand Master placed Mika on the front line of the expedition team, not simply because he met the requirements of the mission. More importantly, he was impressed by Mika's hardworking and grounded nature. From my own perspective, I feel very honored to work with someone like him. I shoulder the Knight's trust and the people's hope. It is for this reason I must stay vigilant. Vanessa's title, Dandelion Knight, has been passed down from generation to generation. Countless great knights were awarded with this honor, and I will not bring shame to this name. Thus, I must keep going. I must become the sword and aegis of the people. Only glorious victories are recorded in legends and history books. Surely even the great knights of old must have had their struggles. Wind, please show me the path. When I'm wholeheartedly devoted to my work, all of my troubles and even my sense of time seem to just slip away. Hmm. Grandmaster Varka did say to me, Jean, there is no better candidate for this task. As I walk with you, the path ahead becomes clearer. It's almost as if I have finally found someone I can trust. I wonder if... No, this must mean that I'm still lacking in strength. I must not give up. I will not. I cannot fail the knights and the people of Mondstadt. Still, thank you. Maybe we can discuss the tales of legendary heroes. Have you heard the story of the heroic king of Kynria? If only there was some kind of mysterious potion that could keep me awake forever. I need to have a talk with Lisa tomorrow. It's been ages since I had pizza at Cat's Tail. If only they delivered. A true knight can't afford to be a picky eater. Not only is the taste magnificent, but you've also made sure it was healthy. You have my gratitude. Hmm, yes, I feel a lot more energetic now thanks to you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, all in all, I appreciate the effort. Today is a day worth celebrating. If you must ask why, well, let me remind you that today is when you, the one who is blessed by the wind, came into the world. Since this is your birthday, I'll allow you to take it easy. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Uh, please forgive my presumptuousness. I hope this gift is to your liking. Good. On to our next objective. As the wind continues to blow, so too shall I continue to fight. Although we have peace, we must not become complacent. As the acting Grand Master, I must remain vigilant. I am still not good enough. Ever since I met you, I have been indebted to you for your assistance. My gratitude. Wind, please forgive my selfishness. Not as the acting Grand Master, but as Jean. I hereby swear that my sword shall always go with you.